Hi guys, it's Lindsay, and today I'm going to be answering all of your recent questions because I'm filming a chai chat for the first time in such a long time, and I feel like it was just getting like increasingly more requested, so here I am, finally filming it. I have my computer on this side and my tea over here. Also just shout out to this mug, um, I got it at the thrift store and it says hang in there, it could be worse, it could be yesterday, tomorrow's a whole new day to mess up in, the weekend is coming, and I just felt like that was very fitting for this moment. All the questions I'm answering were sent over to my Tumblr, which is just lindsayrub.tumblr.com if you do not already follow it. I'm on there a lot answering questions just because it's super relaxing, but this is a more face-to-face -face experience with the questions. So thank you so much if you sent me in questions. I'm trying to answer the ones that I got the most frequently because there were a lot. First question, I miss your vlogs. Do you think you'll ever do them again? So I haven't posted a vlog since... I'd like to say Coachella, maybe it was summer. I, it's literally just been such a long time. Um, I do plan on vlogging more in the future, definitely at Coachella if I end up feeling like vlogging. It kind of just depends on how I feel. I'll definitely end up like filming things. I might put together like a montage, if you will. I'd love to vlog more this summer and I'd, I would definitely like to vlog when I'm living in an apartment with my two best friends because they're moving in at the end of this semester, so all of next year. So I would like to vlog in the future. It's just like not really fitting in with my schedule or like what I feel like doing right now but uh, I'm not like ending my vlog channel forever, so don't be too concerned. What is one vegetarian slash vegan thing that you miss eating? So if you didn't know, I am vegetarian dairy free, so it's like super close to vegan, but not quite. Um, I'd say the one thing that I don't eat that I kind of miss is um, cheese, like on pizzas. Like usually I'm kind of, I'm like totally fine with not having cheese on like pasta or anything, but occasionally I'll just like think about a lasagna. It's like really random cravings. It'll be like a meatball sandwich will just like pop into my head. It's never like enough to make me want to like stop eating the way I do, but you know. Sometimes you just miss cheese. Nothing really quite like fills in that void in my heart because vegan cheese is not something that I am interested in getting myself into. Where did you get those sunglasses from? The ones you were wearing on Insta. A lot of people have been asking me this because I got new Ray-Bans and I've been wearing them all the time because I'm the kind of person that buys like one nice pair of sunglasses and then I just like only wear them because that's what I did with my Illustavas and that is also what I've been doing with my Ray-Bans. So this is what they look like. They are the large round that um, collapses and folds and they just look like this, and I really like them. I wear them all the time, as you have seen on my Snapchat and Instagram and all of that, but I really like them, and they collapse like this, so you can like fit them in really compact places, which is super convenient if you have small purses, which I do, so love that. Can you do a video styling oversized hoodies? What are your current favorites? So I actually do love sweatshirts and hoodies of all kinds. I'm currently wearing a sweatshirt. This one doesn't have a hood on it, um, it's from UNIF and it has lots of holes in it and I wear it all the time. But some other ones that I love. I have a solid bright blue one from Brandy Melville I've been wearing a lot that I really like and it was only $30 which is like not a ton for a sweatshirt because for some reason sweatshirts are just like absurdly expensive. Um, I wear them a lot just with like boyfriend or girlfriend jeans and sneakers if I'm feeling lazy or I'll wear them with like a denim skirt and I, I really like how that looks also. Where do you find cute backgrounds for your laptop and phone? So if you follow me on Twitter, you actually saw that I tweeted the other day, um, like here's some lock screens for you and your friends and I'll be sure to link that tweet below if you wanna use them. Um, but a lot of the time I just use designs I've made as my backgrounds. Like currently I have this constellation pattern that has the zodiac signs for me and my two best friends. Um, and then I also put the little dipper in because I just, I love constellations. I think they're so pretty. What do you most enjoy about your major? in uni. So I absolutely love that I'm able to study what I love and I'm really thankful for that, but I just love that I am able to create every day and learn more about design and how to make more things and really just make anything that I think of come true because that's something lovely about the computer is there's kind of no limits. Kira and I, my best friend that also studies graphic design, are going to do a graphic design whole Q&A chai chat ordeal. So that will be happening soon, probably just after we get some projects done, but she agreed to do it soon. So hopefully we'll be able to do it soon and you guys can answer all your questions related to graphic design and we can answer them for you. I've been looking into getting a new phone case, but I am not sure where to look. What are some of your suggestions? So currently I have a phone case from Sonic's case is on my phone and I love it. Behind it I just have a Thrasher sticker. But I love this case because of the roses, obviously, it's so me. But I also just got this phone case from Wildflower sent to me and it is black velvet with stars on it and it is so cute. 
so I've been switching it off every so often just kind of depending what I'm feeling like but I really love how this one feels and I just I really like how well made their cases are would totally recommend what filter do you use most on Instagram I get asked this all the time but my most favorite filter is a6 and then sometimes I will use jm1 if I feel like it but more often than not I use a6 what is one thing that you can't live without there's a lot of different routes you can go with this question but I think I would have to say toast or bread I really I really love bread <laughs> and I, I couldn't live without it I could live on it for sure thank you <laughs> Good question. What are your top three favorite fonts at the moment? So if you are not aware, my favorite font of all time is Myriad Pro. That's the one I use for like all of my video details and things. I use semi-bold. But if I had to choose my top three of the moment, I would probably go with Avenir, which looks a little bit more like modern. It's a little rounder. I really like it. Um, Kira got me onto that font. It's gorgeous. Also Nutraface. I don't have it on my computer, but anytime I see it anywhere, and it's like, it's used pretty often a lot of places, anytime I see it, I'm just like, wow, that's so gorgeous. Those low, those low crossbars on the A. And then I think I'm kind of on like the tail end of my Futura phase because I was super into it during the time of creating my portfolio. So I used it in there and I still really like it, but I see it all the time because it's Chapman's font and it's on all their buildings and I just see it everywhere. What would you wear to a club or to a party? Um, I do not go to clubs, <laughs> but to parties I tend to wear, I have like a couple things I like to do. I really like wearing Converse or sneakers so that I can dance. I really like wearing jeans also for that reason. Then maybe like a nice off the shoulder top or something that's just like allows for a lot of movement, something super comfortable. I don't like to feel restricted. I just like to look fun, comfortable. I like to try fun things out when I go to parties because I feel like that's like just the time to do it. So like I'll put stars on my face or like wear blue eyeliner or just like wear some funky tights or like just something kind of fun. Um, that's like my time to experiment if that is in any way helpful. Are you seeing Mitski this year? Seeing her for the second time and I'm ready to die again. I am going to Coachella and I'm definitely going to make sure that I see her set because I love her so much. I totally relate. So those are all of the questions that I have for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you all with a new video very soon. I've just been dealing with a lot of project deadlines. That's why I missed last week's upload. It's fine. I'm working on it and I will see you all with a new video very soon. Bye guys!